once again good morning students today we will discuss worksheet 12 from atoms and molecules today we will discuss about atoms and molecules so once again jigyasa didi asks gyan when you go on dividing matter physically then a stage will come when the particles obtain cannot be divided further these particles form matter can you tell what do you what do we call them scientifically then gyan said jigyasa didi scientifically these particles are called as molecules molecules are those basic units of matter molecules are basic unit of matters these molecules can further be divided chemically to form another indivisible particle known as atom means these molecules can further be divided into more or another indivisible particles called atom and atom are building blocks of all matter so we can say atoms are building block of all matters and atoms combine to form molecules means what when two or more atom combine they form molecules and molecule is the basic unit of matter okay you can do a small activity just take a small piece of paper and start tearing it a stage will come and keep on tearing a stage will come when you will not be able to tear it any more means what that was the smallest part of that paper which can't be divided any more so then you will come to know what do you mean by atom and molecules i repeat atoms are indivisible particle of matter and molecules molecules can be divided further chemically to form atoms okay how big are the atoms can we see them no jigyasa didi asks can we see atoms gyan said no didi atoms are very small they are smaller than anything and we we can imagine only i a thin sheet of paper as i told you consists of millions of atoms and the size of atom are measured in nanometers keep in mind the size of atom is measured in nanometer and 1 nanometer is equal to 10 raised to power minus 9 meter that is 1 upon 10 raised to power 9 students most of the mat atom are very reactive in nature so that they react with each other to form another more stable particle known as molecules means atoms are very reactive and they when they react with each other they form molecules they form stable molecules okay so atom plus atom will give you molecule and here's the example oxygen atom plus oxygen atom will give you a one molecule of oxygen next relative size of different matter atom of hydrogen we have 10 raised to power minus 10 meter water molecule 10 raised to power minus 9 meter sand particle 10 raised to power minus 4 meter and we have 10 raised to power 2 meter and watermelon 10 raised to power minus 1 approximately right this is all about the size of different matters now come to the questions as part what are atoms and what are molecules so we can say atoms are very reactive and the smallest indivisible keep in mind i am repeating atoms are very small and 
indivisible particles right where is molecule molecules are when two or more atom combines they form molecules right example example of atom is oxygen atom hydrogen atom where is the example of molecule is o2 oxygen molecule hydrogen h2 nitrogen n2 they all are example of molecule second question we have phillips fill in the blanks first the size of atom are measured in nanometer okay 1 nanometer is equal to 10 raised to power minus 9 meter next okay next we have nanometer so nanometer equal to 1 raised to power 10 raised to power minus 9 water molecule you have 10 raised to power minus 9 meter and atom of hydrogen it has 10 raised to power minus 10 meter name the three atom student oxygen hydrogen nitrogen uh, potassium they all are atoms okay means simple o h they all are considered as atom okay so this is all about your worksheet 12 please if you find it interesting do like share and subscribe thank you